because without them, you know, I feel like I would have both. Hello, hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to Inner Life 101. Today we have another video. <clears throat> Excuse me, concerning um, Nature Boy and <clears throat> and Carbonation. <clears throat> Here we have Tori on the screen, and usually I'll do the debunking of his teaching, but this time I'm gonna allow. I'm gonna allow. Tori to do that. Tori. Tori, a.k.a. Joy. <laughs> right now she's in um, <laughs> Panama trying to get her and her baby home. <clears throat> After, I don't even believe right now at this point that she even realized that they have been arrested and detained because she left before all of that. So she's she's not aware. I don't believe she's aware that she can leave the country now that they were arrested and everything. They they all have to leave. So, anyways, let's hear her debunk the teaching of Nature Boy, Elysio Bishop, and Carbonation. We're still in Panama. Um, we can't leave Panama without consent from Nubian, and he will not sign consent. Um, and that was the issue. That was everything that was going down at the house. Um, because originally he did say that he would sign for us to leave. And then he, then he spoke to chief chief told him not to sign anything. Don't, don't let her leave. And that's what happened. So now Nubian, um, didn't want to sign off consent because of orders from chief. So that's, so that's everything that was happening with that. So we're still in Panama. We're going through the proper channels to, to get us home. Um, we're trying to get through the proper tr proper channels to get home. You know, I have to get a translator and some more. Um, kind of want to talk about how I'm feeling right now. You know, um, a lot's going on. You know, um, I felt like I was breaking I f this rising. I felt I felt amazing. I felt happy. You know, I'm like I'm, I feel like I made the right decision to leave. You know, since the first day I I joined Carbonation, I wanted to go home. You know, but I had to. You know, and I was upset for my, this is what's been making me break down. This is what's been making me feel guilty. You know, it's like a, it's like a, it's a cycle in, in your mind. You know, you have these self-defeating thoughts. In my mind, I've been feeling, I started feeling guilty because I didn't want to, anytime that I said I wanted to leave, um, I just been like, don't talk about me. I won't talk about you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on my way. And that's how it's always been. Anytime I say I want to leave, that's what it is. And... This time, and, and any time I said I want to leave, there is like this interrogation. There is, um, you know, it's a lot of shit that goes down that you don't actually see. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? Every time I say I want to leave, I get I get bit in the ass. So I was like, I, for my own safety, for my daughter's safety, I need to record what goes down. And so that's that's the whole reason I recorded everything. Not because I want to set somebody out. It wasn't like that. It's strictly to protect us. Because I know what Chief does. He tries to gaslight you. He's a, he's a manipulator. And you know manipulators to skillfully handle things. Yes. Yes, you know to skillfully handle a situation. But he's not doing that for good. Yes, you want to be a manipulator. You do. You definitely want to be a manipulator in your reality. But he's manipulating people to do the wrong things. He's using manipulation in the wrong way. So, and like I said, in reality, you don't want to be a manipulator.
you should go to go with the flow of things instead of trying to make things happen. I said before I left, um, and I'm glad I started recording and everything because before I left, you know, I was like, you know, I want to leave, you know, I want to go. It's not it. It's not it. You know, I had a meeting with New. New ended up telling Chief, and everything went down, but. You know, he told New to put out, a, put out a case on me, call me mentally unstable, tell tell everybody I'm mentally unstable. And um, he's like, yeah, yeah, because we got text messages, we got this, we got videos and that. And that's the same thing he was doing to Velvet, the same thing he was doing to Eliana. The same thing, y'all don't remember all those those lies and stuff that was going on, going on in Palenque? All that shit that was going down in Mexico, y'all just seen her freaking the fuck out, but why? Why was she freaking out? Why? You never got the details of that. You never knew why. But people, you just see her. You just see her spazzing out, and that's exactly what he wants you to see. So him telling her, put, telling him, yeah, fight, fight, put out a case on her. Make, she mentally unstable. Tell him she mentally unstable. Do this, do that. But in the recording, and this is why, I, this is why I had to record. Because in that, within the same breath, and before, before you telling him to put out a case on me and call me mentally unstable. In the recording that I have, he's talking about how I'm a leader of the community, how I, how I, um, how I uplift other people, how he wants the people in the community to be like me. But I'm mentally unstable. It doesn't make sense, and that's what I'm saying. One breath he'll say one thing, and then the next breath he'll say another. Now I want to step in on here and say that. When you have a teacher, a teacher should never, ever degrade his students. Never. Because you'll lose trust. <clears throat> and also, a teacher should never, ever use your personal information that you have shared in your sessions with them against you. And that's what Eligio does. He goes and have these quote, real nigga moments. And, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and finds out things about people. And then he throws them up in their face later. And, you know, in the field of psychology or mental health, you know, you have a confidentiality agreement with your therapist. They cannot go and tell what you guys spoke about. Um, and in the Know Thyself teaching, a true teacher, one of the first lessons that you learn in studying yourself is that anything that you have learned about sharing other people information, that's the first thing you have to deal with. You cannot share other people information. You have to be trustworthy. And something about the teaching causes you to start studying that first. You, you automatically start to study how it will affect people if you share their information. You know, you have real life, real life experiences showing you where you don't want to lose a person's trust. You don't want to share something, their innermost thoughts with other people. But he will throw it up as soon as he tries to control you. As soon as he, when he's ready to control you or he's trying to control you or he gets angry with you, then he starts throwing around all the information that he learned about someone. And like what he did with Mr. Marquez, Pops. You know, he he found something supposedly 
from uh, velvet and then threw it up in his fa her father's face and come find out the information wasn't correct. You know, Velvet was just trying to fit in, you know, but, and see, that's a really hateful thing to do. And that shows you how hateful he is. That is not a part of a loving teaching. That's not loving at all. And it's not, you know, this man goes in and out of his so-called higher and lower self until it's impossible. Number one, it is impossible for him to be in his higher self when he's living in such negativity. You know, if he has moments in his higher self, everybody does. You know, when you give a child a smile or, you know, you genuinely care about someone, that's a part of your higher self. You know, the thing is, is that you need to be more and more connected with that in your behavior and your thoughts that's what you're working towards you don't uh and he definitely is not anyone else's higher self it's just insanity to go around telling people i'm your higher self and you're living in your lower self you're your lower self but i'm your higher self that's that's sickness actually you know but anyways let's get back to tori here so i had to record I had to do what I had to do. And I started feeling guilty. I was feeling so good today. I was like, I did the right thing. I made the right decision. And I started feeling guilty when I got back. I was like, damn, I did not want to do that. I did, I did not want it to go down like that. I didn't want it to happen like this. But it had to. I talked to my mom. She, I didn't even call her. She called me. I, she could feel me. She called me. And listen, I want to say this before I get into what happened. But what we talked about, what she said to me. <sighs> Carbonation, they, they, they tell you that nobody understands you, that no one truly loves you. That's what they tell you, but that's a lie. You have people, you have family, whether they family, whether they friends or what. You have people out there that care about you. So don't don't believe it. Don't believe the bullshit. Don't believe the hype that they they trying to sell you. Don't don't. That's the, that's the very thing they need you to feel like. That's the very thing they need you to feel like. Nobody understands you. They need you to feel like you cannot talk to anybody. They need you to feel like nobody loves you, because now you're in an isolated state. Now you're vulnerable. Now you're just accepting anything because you feel like nobody cares about you. You need to feel that. You need to feel love. But anyways, I got I was feeling. Now, the issue with that is that Elysio, like I have said in my other videos, is that he, by being an adopted child and a foster care child, he, and I'm feeling like he's been abandoned <clears throat> by his parents, he grew up being very hateful, very angry, and foster children tend to try to create their own families. So that's what he was doing and he don't want to lose anyone. You know, unless he's angry with him and throw him away. But he wants to keep you there with him because he just wants the family that he never had. I mean, I'm sitting there watching him having velvet. She's uh cleansing his face and cleansing his skin and he's just praising her how he's she's doing it for him every day and then he says something about she's like a mother but the problem is he don't understand that you don't sleep with your mother so it's a it's a different kind of love and you should not cross that love you should that crop that love should never meet or else you're going to have serious mental issues okay so anyways he needs a family he's trying to create a family he has a family but that's what foster children do, do. they they harbor anger towards their own family because they weren't rescued 
and then they try to create their own. And he admitted to doing that after he heard my information. He didn't give me credit for it, but if it helps him, let him have it. Anyways, let's hear Tori. What the fuck? How are we going to get the fuck home? How are we going to get home? He won't sign off. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm trying to figure out everything I can do to get us home. So I'm freaking the fuck out. And my mom calls me. She could just feel. I, I, we, we're very connected. She could just feel me. She called me. I almost didn't answer the phone. I almost did not even answer the phone, but I pick up the phone. I'm like, she called me for a reason. I need to, I need to, I need, I need that right now. I call, I pick up the phone. She's like, how are you feeling? And, you know, the program will start coming. Nobody care about me. She's not going to understand how I'm feeling. I can't even, I, I can't talk to her. But I was like, no. You, some, I told myself, no. I told her the truth. I was like, I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I'm worried. I'm worried. She's like, that's the trick of the devil. You know? So, she was like, do you feel like you made the right decision? I was like, definitely. Definitely. Yes, I know I made the right decision. And she was just like, you over here. I told her I was feeling guilty. I told her about how I was feeling. And she was like, you over here feeling guilty when you know you made the right decision. She was like, hug yourself. You did the right thing. You know you did the right thing. I was like, yeah. And she I was just she was like, and that's how you know you did the right thing. That's how you know you love somebody. That's how you know you're a loving person. You feel guilty because you didn't want it to go down like that. She was like, and then it is she just starts she starts speaking to me. She was just like, Love has a capacity. Love love does have a cap. People can only love you from where they are, and that's a fact. That's a fact. And the thing that was hurting me the most is, it's me and Nubia out here in Panama. City, in the city. Can't go home. Can't go home without the consent. And Nubian says that he loves us. And that he says that he loves us. He loves his daughter. He wants he wants the best for his daughter. We just try to go home. We don't want to be a part of that. It's nothing against you. We don't want to be a part of that group. No, we don't want that anymore. But you love us, but you won't let us go home to safety. You won't allow us to get to safety. To where we know we're safe. We're just trying to get to safety. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And Eligio interfered and ordered Nubian not to sign the papers so that this girl could leave the country with her baby. And for what reason? All of that that went down that day, the other day when she wanted to leave, Eligio ran. He ran. And the thing about this know thyself teaching is that after a few months, you won't have any fear. The fear, you start working, working out fear to the point where it's something like, you know, the police coming to your house would not bother you. The number one thing, the first thing you learn and the know thyself teaching is that greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. And so you can't have fear once you study that. But he ran. He ran. And then he tried to make an, an excuse for running. And, oh, I didn't want to go through that again. And I don't want to go through. You're afraid. You're afraid to go through that again. Be a man. You he wasn't a man. What he and he just don't think properly. So what he did is she wanted to go down the mountain, get back and get into the city and go about her business. 
he, instead, he runs, takes the car, and leaves. When she came out, they weren't there. They were going to take her on, and, and the car was gone. Him and Velvet and them, they're gone in the car. When, if he was thinking properly, all he would, the, the proper thing that should have happened is that he, if he feared the police, he should have taken her, put her in the car. They got to drive down the mountain anyway. Drive down the mountain, take her down where she needs to go, drop her off, and then you go to a hotel somewhere which is what he did. He went to a hotel somewhere. So you go to a hotel somewhere, it keeps him out of harm's way or something, and then she, would, she wouldn't have any reason to even call any author authorities. She wouldn't have any reason. She would have gotten exactly what she wanted, her money, and got down the road, and that's all she needed. But instead, he was there. They He was calling back, trying to convince her and like she said, gaslighter and manipulator and all the other people were trying to manipulate her and they're coming up on her and getting her, you know, just causing problems. All of that was totally unnecessary. All he had to do is take that woman down the mountain. That night when she, when he left, he should have, instead he ran because she was upset and she went on live. Anyways. Let's finish out. Hear, hear her out. And that, and that's what was hurting me the most. I felt guilty about everything that happened. But I had to realize I made the right decision. And it's showing, everything is showing me that I made the right decision. If somebody loved you, if somebody really loved their daughter, they would not allow you to be stranded. But see, that's the programming. That's the programming. They want you to break down. And come back. You have to. You have to get broken down and come back and feel like there's no other way. But I'm. A, I'm gonna find a way. I'm not gonna stay stranded here. I'm not gonna have my daughter here. We're not gonna be stuck here. I'll be damned. I just want to say I'm grateful to her. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to the. I don't want to say the other person's name right now, but I'm so grateful to have the support system behind me. You know, that's true loyalty. They, loyalty is not just, she said, my, my, my mom says, see, the program, my Babylon mom. No, it's not my fucking Babylon mom. My mom, my mom said something to me. She was like, loyalty is not just agreeing with somebody. Is not. That's not loyalty. That's called sheep. That's a sheeple. That's a sheeple. Mm -hmm. What makes somebody valuable in your life is when they're going to tell you that this shit wrong. They're going to stand up. They're going to stand up. Listen, we're good. we feeling better. I'm feeling better. So she going to feel better. <laughs> but we're good. Um... We're trying to get home. Uh, we're still stuck in Panama. Uh, hopefully, we can make something happen and we can get home. Yeah. I just wanted to update y'all. I've been getting a lot of messages and I don't want to ignore y'all. Um, I'm thankful for everybody else, everybody out there that's been supporting us. Um, I love y'all. Peace. And that is a blessing, and there is nothing more that can even be said after that. So I would just say peace and blessing to you all. Remember that it's not true self. I mean, it's not higher self and lower self it is true self and false self those are 
the selves that you are working on in the Know Thyself Truth teaching. The higher self, lower self depicts hierarchy. And that is why someone like Nature Boy would go and use that. He's going to take on the higher self and let you keep your lower self. That's mental illness. Everybody knows there's good and I don't even want to use the word good and bad or whatever, but it's the duality. So everyone has that within them. Which means your false self and your true self is within you. You have to work to become the higher self. And that is when you will start seeing the, the abilities of the spirit realm manifest in your life. If you, if you live from your lower, I mean from the false self, then you will manifest the things that you are manifesting now if you're not living in your higher self, I mean in your lower. Oh, they got me all. They don't have me mixed up. It's just this conscious thing. I've been used, I've been working with this for so long now. And I keep hearing it constantly. You know, someone in this community has changed the original teaching. Trying to suit them like they're saying, oh, overstand something instead of saying understand. Most people don't even know how to understand. They don't even have understanding. And then someone is thinking they're so clever, they're going to come and change the original teaching. The original teaching says, understand. Understand things out of existence. Overstand means what? Somebody, you know, egotistical someone decided they wanted to change that word. Oh, it's cute. But it's not helpful, obviously. It's not helpful. It is not healing people. People need to heal. And you have to understand. The understanding is a very loving state that we need to embody. We have to embody it in order to, to see where we can be, where we can go, how far we can go. So anyways, I want to say thank you for joining us. And um, <clears throat> do me a favor, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Peace and blessings.